What's going on everyone? Happy Memorial Day weekend. Look at the fog today. Absolutely insane. When I first was driving up, I couldn't even see the water, but it's starting to lift off. I think once it warms up, the fog should dissipate and hopefully we can get on some kokanee. We're out here at Stampede Reservoir, so if you want to book a trip, they are a lot cheaper than the Tahoe trips that I do offer, and it can be a very action-packed day. We just got the lines in the water, and hopefully we can get on some fish. It's only me, two rugrats today. So, hopefully we can get on some kokanee. Came out yesterday, just kind of putted around with some friends and Kayla, and then also did a little fishing and hooked into a few fish, but wasn't really trying too hard, so today is the day to try to get limits of salmon and then hopefully try to fish for some bass depending on how fast I can get my limits so stay tuned hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, just remember book those trips Woo! we got one on finally been trolling around for like 30 minutes or so I think I found the magic depths 30 feet once I get this one in and reset, I'll kind of give you an idea of exactly how to go and target these kokanee by yourself and what you should be doing and burying up different things. Oh, we got a double. I got another one on, on this rod over here. I got to get this one in. I was just about to switch up too. I don't think I don't think this one's I don't think this one's on anymore, but we'll check. Oh yeah, still on there. Woo! This one feels a little bit bigger. When it's early on in the season right now, you can't actually catch and release these fish just because of the water temperatures. However, when it does get become a little bit warmer and that thermocline is pretty deep and the surface temps get you know around 68 70 degrees the survival rate of these fish drop tremendously but right now with the water sitting at around 55 degrees on the surface it's pretty safe that you could release these but we are going after some limits so if i do catch some bigger ones i am gonna keep them Good one. Nice little stampede kokanee right there. Hopefully we catch some bigger ones than that, but I just wanted to get one in the bag, but these things taste absolutely amazing. Just like any other fish, you do want to bleed it because it does make for nicer quality meat and you want it to get straight on ice for some reason kokanee have very delicate flesh so they do not like those higher temperatures so as cold as possible so if you have a nice ice slurry or just a nice cold cooler that will work perfect to preserving the meat these fish aren't very big so they don't take very long to bleed out So I caught one at 30 feet and then the other one at 37.
One in the bag. What we're gonna do is turn around. We're gonna go right back through where we just came through. Drop them to the exact same depths, 37 and 30. And you cannot forget corn. That's the key to kokanee fishing in my opinion. Lures do matter, speed definitely matters, but corn and speed and depth are the three things that you really wanna focus on. So if you don't have a fish finder or you just are experimenting and going to a new reservoir, definitely start higher up, work your way down, or if you have a really nice fish finder, you can actually find those fish at certain depths. And that's what I did, is I could see all these fish ranging from 30 to 40 feet. And that's what gave me my opportunity to set one at 30 and one at 37. And is running like a four inch sling blade with a pretty long leader, probably 20 inches or so. And then this one is a pink little spinner, smile blade spinner it's called. If you don't have downriggers, make sure to check out that video I made about setting up a downrigger list setup. That works perfect for a kayak, small little boat if you don't have downriggers. And if you don't want to be messing with downrigger weights, it's an easy way to catch fish. Trout, kokanee, whatever the case may be. I am giving these a pretty far setback with that being said. I mean, I'm letting it go, you know, well past 100 feet behind the boat and just giving it some space between the motor and just the boat noise and stuff like that. So I'm counting out around 100 pools or so. These reels don't have depth counters, but if you have one of those, they make it a lot easier, however. Oh. We're gonna clip it into the downrigger weight. We're gonna drop it back down to 37 feet. Fishing on one rod. We'll get the other one set up and I'll let you know on some secrets. So when you are deciding to go kokanee fishing at any other reservoir, whether it be Stampede, basically any lake that have kokanee, just remember the characteristics of kokanee are all the same, right? They are pelagic fish where they swim in large schools. They do not feed on other bait fish or anything like that. They're actually filter feeders so they swim around filtering through phytoplankton and other little microscopic food sources. That's how these fish eat. So essentially what we're trying to do is severely aggravate them and it kind of makes like a instinctive nature for them to attack the lure just out of, you know, territorial reasons or just aggravating the fish. So that's what we're technically trying to do. The scents do help because, you know, all fish have a sense of smell and usually having scent on the lure definitely aids in that strike as well as not having so many short strikes what i mean by that is the fish just coming up and kind of swiping at it you definitely want that fish to have a nice strike so it actually attaches itself to that spinner or hoochie whatever you're using another thing with the corn is i make it myself and it's very easy to do what you need is white shoe peg corn and various different scents that you want to use from Procure or any other smelly jelly type stuff that you prefer. And then you definitely need a curing agent. They come in different brands. All of them work relatively the same. But you just cure the corn so it makes it nice and stiff. It holds onto the hook a little bit better and it prevents those short strikes. So check it out. If you want to see more about that or have any questions about the corn, please leave a comment in the video. And I'll answer those as best as I can. Oh. Got another fish on right here. Whoa, yeah. Ooh, let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is it a big one? Oh, eh. We'll see. So with these kokanee, when you're reeling them in, just keep nice 
tension on it. You don't want to horse it in because they do have really soft mouths because they don't feed on bait fish or anything like that. So they've adapted to have small mouths and since they just filter feed, that's all they need to do. So a nice steady reel in does the trick. I need a longer net. <laughs> oh well, can't catch them all. The saying always goes when you're kokanee fishing, if you can get half the fish you hook up into the net, you're doing pretty good. we can get the second one on the boat. Feels pretty decent. I'm gonna take my time this time. Oop. Nice easy reel in. Let it, let it pull, let that rod work. These fish aren't really gonna take a lot of drag from you. Ooh, this one looks good. Got off again. Bummer. Will we have one on? About a mouthful of crackers. I just put this one deeper too. Put this one lower. I also switched this one over to like a light pink little hoochie. Another one, hopefully. Hopefully, it stayed on. Oh, yeah. Woo! We're going for limits today. I don't think it's on still. This one was on for a little bit. We'll see if I still have it. I think so. Ooh, 
boy, feisty little one. Alright, same thing, we're going to set this one back about a hundred, a little more than a hundred feet past the back of the boat. I'm going to drop it down to, this one was at 44 I believe, or 43. Hopefully we get our last one for our limit. And then I'm super excited because I want to go try to catch some bass. Yes, there's smallmouth bass in here. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the link in the description, but we have bass in here. Hopefully you got number five here. limits Woo. all right there you have it nice kokanee out here at stampede reservoir i'll leave the link in the description or you can call me text me i'll put my phone number in there as well if you're interested in a trip like you just saw today the bite's on so get after it while you can and these things taste great so until next time, just remember to hook them in the face, and we'll catch you later.